Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I filmed anything for this channel. I have actually taken most of the classes that I need to take for my program and I've just completed my first practicum. I have another one in the fall and then I'll student teach after that, so that's exciting. Um, but I have not really filmed or done any study with me live streams and that was awesome until all of my books started being ebooks on line and on the computer and that's just not really can't really use an ebook on the computer and do a live stream at the same time because then you'd literally just see me like working like this and it just would not work so that's unfortunate because i really enjoyed doing that but after that switch happened i didn't really continue vlogging much i I don't know if I still have any footage left that I didn't share with you guys. I'm honestly not sure, but that's just kind of the update. I'm getting very close to the end of my program. But anyway, today I'm going to film a video that I've wanted to do for a while and just never have done. And that is going to be how I prepare, hold on, how I prepare for teaching the class that I teach at church. Um, tomorrow we're having like a graduation party type thing, so it'll be a little bit extra, but I will be doing what I typically do on Saturdays to prepare as well as what I'm preparing for tomorrow. So I've already done the first thing, which is to go on our document database and screenshot the lesson plan, the Bible story cards, all of that, and send that to my team who will be there tomorrow. And then I just kind of give them an overflow or an overview in text of like what tomorrow will look like, any special things, that kind of thing. And I just send it in a group text so that whoever is with me tomorrow has it and we have each other in the group text. It's just easy that way. But now I have a list here of things that I need to get done. The first thing, it's not a weekly thing, but I need to go through and cut some streamers that I'm gonna use to make like a streamer banner for the doorway and then use as like confetti without it being messy because we do use a school space. I don't wanna get confetti all over the place, so I'm just gonna use streamers for fun. Um, but yeah. So I need to go get that and work on that. Okay, just cutting streamers because I want to make like a streamer banner so there will be like one piece at the top and streamers hanging down in our class colors. Um, I just have to decide how I want to make this. So in case you're riveted by the saga of the streamers, I think I'm going to have to just have one piece across and then the rest hanging down. I don't think that I would be able to get this to twist properly and hang the rest of the streamers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut more pieces like this and then we're gonna use them as the confetti. been cut and taped together. I feel like I could have made it longer just because it's going to be way up at the doorway and <laughs> they're way down low, but it's fine. If I feel like we need to, I can tape it lower. <laughs> I don't know. I could even make it like a limbo type situation, but yeah. I'm glad I did that now because I would have taken way too much time in the morning that we don't really have. So that's ready to go. Okay, so the next thing involves people's names, so I can't actually show you, but basically it's a little piece of paper where most of the teachers sign their name and it just says like, we love you. Um, and I just need to make copies of these and then laminate them because they're going to go on the outside of the kids' presents, like kind of a little card. But I 
I'm getting ready to laminate the cards that I cut out. I cut out the cards that are signed by some of the teachers, me and some of the others. Um, and then I also cut out our little QR code invites and I'm gonna put those backed with tissue paper. Can't show it to you obviously because I can't give you that link, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna be working on right now. And then I am going to be laminating right there. Side note, please ignore the absolute disaster of a mess. I'm just trying to go through stuff recently and nothing really has a place right now, so don't judge me. <laughs> Same as the fun when I almost passed out and wasn't filming at the moment. I just started feeling really weird all of a sudden. I was shaky and I literally was walking towards the door to open it and I almost passed out. Fun times. Great times are happening here today. later and I've officially made the tags for the bags. They are so cute. I wish I could show you but I can't because they have names on them and location and all that. But basically I have this card and then the alternating colors for the tags. They're so cute. Now I'm going to put them on the bags and then get on with whatever's next on this. I wish I was kidding, but I literally split my nail off of my thumb. I don't even know if you can tell, but it was bleeding a ton. Like the whole nail filled up with blood. Sorry if you can't handle blood, but that's what happened to me. It's still bleeding a little bit. Literally what is happening. <laughs> I was trying to get these little pouches open to put the paper inside and split my nail. Fun times to be had today. Okay, so now I just need to clean up that mess and get on with the normal stuff that I usually do every Saturday. Yeah, so first I'm gonna clean.
Okay, so what you just saw was I was downloading the video for tomorrow and I also didn't show this, but I just packed up the car with all the presents and everything that I need to bring for tomorrow so I don't have to do it in the morning because I am going to have to do a lot in the morning and then I'm going to have to leave early also and I didn't want to be like trying to get the stuff in the car. So did that now. Whew, out of breath. I need to do a load of laundry because I sort of need to have the correct t-shirt and sweatshirt clean for tomorrow. So I gotta do that and then I'm also, you can't see it, but that, that teacher bag needs to be gone through desperately. So I'm gonna go through, take out the stuff that I don't need for tomorrow and just leave in the stuff that I do need so I have it easy to access. And that will be all. This is like more so what I do every week. This is just stuff getting ready. It's getting the video downloaded, packing the car, doing all this stuff. So that's what I'm working on. Okay, so I just got my laundry out of the dryer and now the last thing that I need to do before I take a shower and get ready for bed is read, or actually I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna read, but the last thing that I have to do is read a section or a chapter, just depends on what is next, gospel-centered kids ministry, all about kids on mission. So I will read a part of that after. I get ready for bed. Okay, I tried to get as much as I could today, but obviously I was focusing on all that we were doing and I look an absolute mess because it was torrential raining as I was bringing stuff down to the car. Um, but today was bittersweet for sure, just because of everything that's changing and the kids that are moving on. But it was so fun. The kids had a balloon fight. We did our little cheer. They listened to their story. They got their presents. It was great. And I am super thankful for that. And it's going to take me time to process it and really enjoy it. I definitely want to take some time to journal later today. Um, and just appreciate everything that happened. Got a glow stick bracelet, <laughs> which was so fun. They were mesmerized. It was great. So happy. So now I'm going to head home and I'll probably show you the stuff that I got today because I got quite a, quite a bit of stuff and I'll need to reassess, put stuff together for next week as well because there are a lot of kids that are out of town right now. Um, but that will be here next week and I want to make sure they get the presents too and they don't miss out. So there's that. All right, I'm going to get going. So this is just after the fact. This is like what our lesson plan looks like. We have our Bible story cards. I took some home today. Um, and then this was our sticker chart that we never finished. <laughs> they tried, but didn't quite get there. It's fine. I've got some streamers. I already went through all the presents there downstairs. But I've got streamers and extra supplies. Um, that can go in my teacher box. 
I've got this lovely, it's in a trash bag because it is torrential rain. This is our whiteboard. It says Jesus said come follow me, but it got erased a little bit. Quest party, our rules, and then three truths that we kind of cycle through in our curriculum. Bag of stickers and other stuff I need to go through. And that is all that stuff. Then I'll open my present in a minute. Here we have streamers that were on our doorway. This is a little girl's jacket, but she has not been back to claim it. So I brought it just in case she's there next week. Um, extra paper I'm gonna do something with. Guys bought stuff that'll go in my teacher bin. And then these are either gonna go in my teacher bin or I'm gonna put them in little food libraries. Don't know yet, but I'll leave them in here for right now. They're just really fun coloring books that have nice little biblical truths on the bottom. So now I'm going to open my present. This, I've heard, I think it's a picture frame. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I can't show you. Well, actually, I probably can if I can. And I also can't have to cover that up, but got a notebook that also says our city name on it um so yeah fun stuff all around today and yeah fun times okay yeah, i gave this was part of the present for the kids but i also gave my volunteers who are serving with me those bracelets and the others will get them when we do our team celebration in a few weeks old rewards chart that we never finished. <laughs> and, oh, so this was fun. You can tell we had Kolo stick bracelet. That actually worked way better than I thought it was with a bunch of preschoolers. Um, it was great, but we also made like the badge thing fun and like giving their lanyards out was fun. Like they got to hold this little koala. Her name is Kind Koala. And they would close their eyes and hold out their hands and whoever I put the koala in their hands was the person who got to get a lanyard and then that person would give it to someone else and it just kind of went like that. And that was super fun. They love squishing her. And I told them like she loves to be squished. <laughs> and so they enjoyed that. And then our fun little microphone. We love it. <laughs> never i've gotten to use these like once before but it's been literal years and it was fun to use them again and now they will go in my teacher bin for future use that's everything very fun day this needs to go in my teacher bin as well we got some bible bingo that is the day they are graduates and I don't know what's next. <laughs> but, okay. Got my class colors, purple and green. We love it. Thank you so much for being here, for watching. I will talk to you all next time. I'm actually about to start in a little bit here. I'm gonna start a catching up on schoolwork vlog and I need to work on some schoolwork. So I will be starting that and that will go up next. Fingers crossed. <laughs> all right, I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.